Welcome back to the channel. My name is Abel and we are back with Football Manager 2020 and Music in Motion with Nashville SC. And for the second season, we're through to the playoffs. We've got the quarterfinals today. And if we get through this match, we'll have the semi-final today as well. And we'll do the other ones if we get there next time. But uh, at least today, we're going to have a quarterfinal. We've got Los Angeles FC at home, who we haven't lost to yet this season. We had a draw away from home and we beat them at home. So uh, hopefully we can get another one here. We did win our last game against Seattle Sounders. It was our first win in a few games. Hopefully we can keep that going into this one and get past the quarterfinal. This is where we went out last time to, I think it was Sporting KC. So hopefully we can get a step further this time. Maybe go further than that. We'll have to wait and see. Last episode, we had our final two games of the MLS season. We lost 2-1 at home to Sporting KC. Uh, we beat Seattle 1-0 account with that goal just before the hour. Uh, and that gave us a finishing place of second in our conference and in the Supporters' Shield. I think we finished fifth. So we take on Los Angeles FC in our first round match. Uh, Portland Timbers host LA Galaxy and Minnesota United face Real Salt Lake. FC Dallas have a bye through to the semi-finals. Uh, they finished top and they won the Supporters' Shield. Let's jump into it then. Los Angeles FC, the home game. Uh, we have um, we lost to them, I think it was last season, that defeat. But we have, we've had a win and a draw against them this season so far. The form is it's okay. We've won a couple of games recently, which isn't too bad. And hopefully we can get something here. We won our last game. So did they, though. But that's their first win in five. So hopefully we can get a good result here. We're going to go with... Um, I think we're going to go with this again. It did well last time and it got us a win. So we're going to try it again. I might actually, I'm going to change Hidman to McCarty. We're going to go Dax McCarty, get the captain involved, see if he can help us out. But hopefully we win this one and we don't just end up going out again. But let's see, we are favourites for it, I think, because LA have dropped off a little bit. Okay, off we go. Let's see if we can win this one. Back-to-back -back wins would be nice. We have got an early three kick here, two minutes in, and it's uh, headed away by Segura. Here's Dax McCarty. Hasn't played too much this season, and this is his last year, probably. He's been all over America in his career, uh, and it's a shot by Dan Lardy. A couple of deflections there, and eventually cleared. Yeah, McCarty's been a bit of a journeyman around America. He's been with us for a couple of years. Um, I think it's time for him to move on, though. He does um, run out of contracts at the end of the year. We're not playing again for a third season, but this would probably be his last year. But let's see if we can get a goal here, get a win, and keep it going. Garza with a corner. Header hits the crossbar. That's a couple of chances we've had so far. And we've yet to find the net. We did have that game. I think it was against Sporting. We hit the woodwork three times. Here's Pozuelo. That's a good shot at goal, but just wide. Just about a minute left in the first half. Here is Bergson for LA. Finds Carlos Vela. And good interception there. Uh, that's not a bad... Uh, that's a bad ball by um, a cam though his palazzi goes for goal and it's in against the run of play la have just gone one nil up and it was a mistake on our part as well a cam gave the ball away and we never really um got back from it, it was a bad pass by a cam pozuelo didn't read it either and then rossi to palazzi goes for goal and it's, it's a good strike but they shouldn't have had the ball in the first place and it's a bad time to score as well late in the first half Really not what we wanted. And that was very much against the run of play. We were in control of that first half. And we go behind because of a mistake. Disappointing. Can we get a quick equaliser here though? We have got a highlight immediately after that goal. Here is Panada to Ariaga. A cam's got space. Can he redeem himself by setting something up here maybe? Or even going for goal. He does go for goal. And it's 1-1 immediately equalising. He gave the ball away and was at fault for the first goal. But he's just put us back to 1-1. So a cam with some immediate redemption there. Which is nice to see. Hopefully we don't see too many more mistakes. And it was uh, Ariaga with the assist as well. A cam taking it around the right back. And into the far corner. Nice finish. And yeah. Gets it back to one apiece. Half time. Hopefully we can do better. I think we've been the better team. So hopefully we can cut out the mistakes. I'm assuming this would go to extra time and penalties if it does stay level. I'm not entirely sure, but we'll have to wait and see. But we've been well on top. We've got possession. We've had 10 shots to their four. We're, we're, we're in control of the game. And it's a header there by Segura, but it's over. All right. Uh, we have got a few poor performers out there, unfortunately. Danardi's not really had much to do. Pozuelo hasn't been great. Neither is McCarty. I'm going to replace Pozuelo with Hinman. So we have got a couple of playmakers there. I'm also going to bring on Bruin 
for uh, Dunlady. Hopefully we can get back in front here and make it 2-1 because we've been the better team. We really have. And we've got 10 minutes to go. And it might go to extra time here. There's a corner though. Gartzer. It's a head of Alibaba. And it's in. Is it going to count? I think it is. It is. Alibaba has just put us 2-1 up. We're going to go back to balance now. Try and defend this. It's 2-1. Hopefully we can hold on to this now. We've got about 8 minutes of normal time. Alibaba with pretty much a free header. The defending from the corner was non-existent by LA. Good goal. And now hopefully we can uh, hold on. 87 minutes played. We've got to throw in in our half. Dotson to Lille. And again, a bad pass there. And it's all the way up to Rodriguez. And uh, what is a great save by Elliot. Right, we're going to make our last change. Um, we're going to drop McCarty uh, for Pacheco. Um, just get that defensive midfielder in there. We're going to make the wingers support as well. Less than three minutes of normal time. They have got a corner here though and they've gone to a 4-2-4. So they are going to try and get a goal. But we're into stoppage time. There's a lot of it. Five minutes. We've gone very defensive. We're going to try and shut up shop. There's about two and a half minutes left of injury time. We still lead 2-1. Not for long though. Oh, another save by Elliot though. But there's another... Oh, it's a free kick. It was offside. It wouldn't have counted if that had gone in. And 95 minutes played. We're through. We've won 2-1. Back-to-back wins. That's been a while since I've been able to say that. We had a great winning streak, but... I don't remember the last time you had back-to-back -back wins. Uh, good performance. Akam was at fault for their first goal, but equalised not long after. And Ababa with a goal from their set piece as well. There were some poor performers, but we made some changes, and you know the subs weren't too bad. But a good, strong performance to get us to the 2-1 win. I think it was deserved. I think we were the better team. So, yeah, I'm, I'm satisfied with that. Akam may be injured, though. I don't think it's going to be available for the next game, so that's unfortunate. He was the best player on the pitch. He, he made the mistake, but he got the goal. Okay, we're taking on Portland Timbers in the semi-final. I didn't actually notice who we were actually facing. So we've got Portland. Dallas uh, entered the competition now. Of course, they've got the bye through to this stage. They've got Minnesota. I think against Portland, I think we um, won them both. We beat them away and we beat them at home. So we did the double over them last season. What about last season? 2-0. They beat us at home in the first season. Uh, that was the start of that really horrible run that we had. So um, hopefully we can get something in this one. We'll be through to the Western final. That would be really something. If we do win this against Portland, we'll bring you the next game, uh, next episode. So Portland will be the last game today, whether we go out or not. And if we do win, we'll have the Western Conference final next time. And if we win that, we'll have the MLS Cup final next time as well. I'm not sure how likely that's going to be to happen, but... It's entirely possible. That's what I said last season. We, we finished seventh in the table, but we could do wonders in this um, playoff and win the whole thing and win the MLS Cup. You could finish seventh and win the whole thing. Likewise, you could win the Supporter Shield like uh, Dallas did, and that could be the only thing you win. They could go out in the semi final. Nashville versus Portland, Western semi final. We're favourites again, but Portland have won their last four games. They've had a strong end to their season. They beat Galaxy in their uh, first round tie. They beat Philadelphia, into Miami, and Minnesota. We've won three of our last five, so we're doing okay. Akam is not fit to play, so he's going to have to come out. Now we've got a conundrum, because no one else is really playing well. Um, neither is Lille, you know. Uh, Lovren had a really... P right, I think I did a little t a chat with Lovren off camera. And we're going to give him a go. We're going to go inverted winger support and the same for Lille. We're going to go Hinman and we're going to go back to this again. We're not going with that 4 2 3 1. We're going to go to this. We're going to go back to Bruin as well, though, because Dan Lardy didn't really offer much last time. So, this is what we're going to go with. We're going to go with this sort of 4 1 4 1 with the defensive midfielder, 4 1 2 3, whatever you want to call it. A cam, need to get off the bench, but put Glaison on the bench in his place. Okay, they've got a 4 2 3 1 as well. They've got a regen on the left-hand side, Jack Daniels. Oh, I remember Jack Daniels. I think we tried to get him like in our, one of our first drafts. Okay, we won our last two games. Let's try and make it three and get to this um, Western final, shall we? Okay, off we go. Uh, there is a corner for Portland in the first minute, and it's a header by Coleman, but it's wide. That would have been bad if we'd have gone down, one down inside a minute. Six minutes coming up. Here is Jalil Anibab, who got the winner. Against uh, against Los Angeles. Here's Davo Lovren 
to Panada, Hinman to Lille, and Greg Gartzer goes for goal and it's in. Six minutes in, it's a nice early goal. It's the first goal for the season for Gartzer. Maybe his first goal for the team. I don't think he scored last season, but a 1 0 lead in just over six minutes. Great start to the game. Good, um, good string of passes together as well. And then Gartzer, lovely finish, lovely strike. Okay. That's a great start. Can we add to that? Here's a Toyoma for Portland to Tesho. Zaparic goes for the long ball. And it's a cut out by Anibaba, but doesn't clear it too far. And Tacoma's got a chance to score there. And it's in by Valerie. Valeri, I think it probably is. It is 1-1, 15 minutes. There might be a few more goals to come in this one. I'll have to wait and see. But Diego Valeri with the equalising goal. Again, we gave the ball away. And then I don't know where the left back is here. I think Gartz was too far forward, didn't cut back. And then it fell to Valerie and he shot and scored. We have got our defensive line quite high. So maybe that's something we should look at. Maybe pulling back. But we'll see how the rest of the first half unfolds. Here is Gartzer to McCarty. Ariaga. Good ball for Davil Lovren. And it's Lille. He's got a bit of work to do and he's lost out. Here is Tesho. Again, goes for the long ball, but header by Ariaga. Here's Lille. Gartz is there on the overlap. And it's all the way up, but um, Can holds on to it. Right. I'm not going to drop the defensive line, but I think come half time, or maybe before we can, if we concede again, I think maybe just drop Gartz back as like a wing back defend rather than support, just so that he does cut back a bit more often because I say he got caught out there. Here is Tesho. And another cross, and it's a goal again, and it is Jack Daniels. It's 2-1. Okay, we are going to do that now then, because uh, we've conceded twice. And again, that's twice that Gartz has been sort of passed now. So we're going to drop him back to defend. Portland are in good form recently, so this is going to be a hard game. We had an early goal, but since then, we have conceded twice. And again, Gartz was taken out of the game. Yet. Oh, no, that's Lille, but Gartz didn't really do much again. Right, half time. Uh, we led 1-0. Didn't last too long, though, and we're now behind. So I'm going to go for an assertive team talk and say I need to see better in this second half. McCarty has once again not been too good. So we're going to, again, we're going to put him alongside Panada like that. No, we need goals. What am I doing? Right, we'll leave it for a while. I'm not going to make a change just yet, but he will probably be the player to go. All right, we're going to go for a show some passion to kick off the second half do we go attacking do you know we've, we've lost the possession as well we were in like lots of possession and now we're actually having less of the ball we're going to go attacking we've got an hour played and here we go we've got a highlight just after that hour 62nd minute here is Randall Leal still got it he can go for Bruin drops it back for Hinman though Hinman with it again Panada Leal got more space. Can he find anyone? Hinman to Bruin. Hinman. Leal sh shot just wide. Right, change. McCarty is now going to come off for... We're going to go Pozuelo. We're going to go 4 2 3 We're just going to keep Panada back a little bit. We're going to make Lovren attack as well. And Leal attack. We're just going to attack in here. Try and get back to 2-2 two -two and draw level. Not great that we're not actually doing too well in this one. We've had more shots than them, but the possession has gone in their favour. We're running out of time here. We've got 20 minutes to go. We need to try and get a goal here. We need a goal. And it doesn't look like we're going to get one. We are running out of time pretty quickly. Last 10 minutes of the game. Right, we're going to put a striker on. Hinman on or off. Danladi on. We're really going for it now. We've gone 4 one one four. And we have one more change to make as well, which will probably be Lovren. In fact, we'll do that now. Let Jet. Leo's going to go on the right. And this isn't like it's going to happen. We've got just stoppage time to go. There's four minutes of it. We've gone very attacking, which never works. We, it never works. 94 minutes gone, and that's the end. 2-1 home defeat to Portland. Disappointing considering 11 shots on target. That's really not great. Um, Gartz have got the goal. And then Portland got two goals after that. Oh, that's not great. I think we could have won that one. We really could have done. That's a bad performance. And at the worst time as well.
We got further than we did in the first season, but that wasn't great. That was a pretty disappointing performance against Portland. They're in good form. Like I said, that that was their... I think that was their fifth win in a row. So they have ended well. And we did well against Seattle. We did well against Los Angeles, but Portland was just one too many. Um, that's unfortunate. We had a couple of chances, some good passes in there. We had possession early on, but they came into the game more Portland as it went on. Um, see, look, they didn't have too much. I, th I really thought we deserved something from that. I think we should have won that game, so I'm a little bit unhappy about that. Looking at match stats, see, we had a couple of little chances, nothing massive, nothing clear cut. So we're going to do all the end of season stuff now, um, do the, you know, the awards and the best 11 and all that. Okay, we've had five players added to our best 11. George Elliott had a, a good season in goal. You know, he was our highest average rating with 6.8, which tells you, you know, how up and down the form has been again this season. Uh, Dan Lardy also made it in um, as a substitute, I think, yep. Yeah. Uh, as did Nazare, uh, as Bacheca. And love it. So all of them made it to the bench. Uh, Mullins keeps his place up top. Mukhtar's in there. Um, yeah. Most of the players we have kept from last year. End of season awards. Hinman gets player of the season. You know, I think he has been really good. He's He's been, you know, key in that midfield with his passing. Um, McCarty comes second. He didn't have too much to do this season. And then Nazar at third place. I think he came up with one or two goals. Panada's goal, um, if I actually remember, was pretty good. Got goal of the season. But Cheka was signing of the season. I probably agree with that. I think he's been really good as well. Uh, Nazar at young player of the season. Dallas lost the MLS Cup final 1-0 to Orlando City. So Dallas win the Supporters' Shield, but Orlando City win the MLS Cup. And the US Open Cup was won by Chicago, I believe. The team that we went out to. Yeah, they won on penalties against the San Jose Earthquake. So they win the US Open Cup. And we have Dallas, the winners of the Supporters' Shield. Orlando City winning the MLS Cup. We... We got to a semi-final, which is, you know, a step further than we got last season. So that's an improvement. And we finished second in our table as well. So I'm satisfied with that. We had some bad performances, but we improved on last year. So that's good for me. So I think we're going to we're gonna leave it there. It's been an interesting two-season save with Nashville. I think it's been... The matches themselves, the ones that we've won, have been fun. I think the losing streak and the way we just seem to completely capitulate at the end of the season makes it difficult to enjoy because no one likes losing games all the time. And I think it's difficult to enjoy the stuff off camera when there's so many new rules and transfer rules and uh, registration rules to remember. I think it just makes it really difficult to enjoy. But you know what? The, the match play itself has been fun. Um, the players have been mostly good. Um, him has been great to play with because he's brilliant at passing the ball. Would have liked to have seen a few more goals. Our top scorer got eight this season, so that wasn't particularly good. But it's been interesting. You know what? I can say now that I've done an MLS save. That was the reason for me doing Nashville, for doing MLS, is because it's something I've never done before. But um, that's it for Nashville. And that's it for FM20 saves now as well. There are going to be a few videos here and there from FM20 simulations, experiments, that sort of thing. But in terms of an actual save in a series, um, that's it now. Because FM21 is probably a couple of months away. They did say that it will be out in 2020. So, uh, you know, it's probably going to be two or three months. And, you know, with that time and this being so late in the game, it really isn't worth doing another series. So um, that's going to be it in terms of saves. But like I said, there's going to be a few other videos coming out in that time. Going to be some other football stuff as well, not just FM. We're going to be talking about, um, you know, maybe other football games, not FIFA, but um, some other sort of footballing stuff, maybe some IRL football but I'll leave all my plans and ideas for that sort of stuff in a video by itself. And that will be out this weekend in a sort of update video sort of thing. But yeah, that's just been Nashville. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. I have at times. It's been difficult to learn and it's been frustrating at times. But as a two season save, I've enjoyed it. I, I, I have. And hopefully you have too. And if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed any of the videos of the past um, couple of seasons, then do drop a like. Of course, as always, leave comments. And if you haven't done so already, or if you're new, then do subscribe and turn on notifications. That's what's been Nashville. Um, I say stay tuned for this weekend for an update video sort of thing about my plans for the rest of the FM20 until 21 comes out and plans for FM21 as well. I still don't have a beta save that I want to do yet. So that's something I've still got to think about. In terms of a made save, I know what I'm doing, but I'm going to leave all that for that video. But um, that's it for Nashville. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, again, like and all that. And that's it. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Goodbye.